Hey guys, this is Andre at the Andre Lifestyle. It's a lifestyle channel where I document and educate my audience on what I've experienced in the military, the health and fitness rules that I live by, the self-improvement books that I've read, and the travel destinations that I recommend. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with new great content every week. Hey guys, it's Andre with the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on the topic, will you get sick in Coast Guard boot camp? Now before I get into this video, this video is a little bit different and the reason for that is I recorded this video a few days ago, but unfortunately I erased half of that video. So right now I'm re-recording the first half of this video and I'm gonna basically attach both videos into one whole video. I hope that made sense. So let's get right into this video. Will you get sick in Coast Guard boot camp? And the short answer is yes, you will get sick in Coast Guard boot camp. They call it the Cape May crud. It's honestly the most awful fucking thing in the world, okay? You just feel absolutely miserable, okay? The symptoms of the Cape May crud are as follows. A lot of coughing, runny nose, feel like shit, lack of energy, possible fever, and a lot of throwing up. The problem with the Cape May crud and why I'm bringing this up, other than feeling like shit, is if and when you get it, you have to keep moving along and try your best to stay in training and not continually go to the medical facility to get checked out and the reason for that is if you miss too much of training you will be reverted and when I say training that includes classes guys during Coast Guard boot camp you will be going to many many classes so it's very very important that you don't miss too many of those classes I personally had the Cape May crud so my symptoms were like I said coughing runny nose and a lot of throwing up. It, I couldn't keep any of the food down. I dreaded going to chow because I couldn't eat. It was that horrible for me. I did not go to the medical center. I refused to because honestly for me, the biggest fear during Coast Guard boot camp was getting reverted. I refused to get reverted. So I just sucked it up and kept moving on with it. A particular memory that I have of when I got sick was we were all getting beat. And if you don't know what getting beat means, in Coast Guard Boot Camp, I suggest you check out one of my vlogs. I think it's the five punishments in Coast Guard Boot Camp vlog where I go into detail on all the different punishments and I describe what beatings are in Coast Guard Boot Camp. Yeah, so I was getting beat and I remember I was doing push-ups and we were counting off during the push-ups and I just felt this urge of just throw up just coming out and so I immediately just popped up and ran to the the grass and just vomited everywhere all right so you're gonna see that a lot with different recruits it's a shitty situation like I said but you just really need to to suck it up so my final advice for all future recruits is it's not gonna be easy Coast Guard boot camp isn't easy you're gonna get sick now that's not to say if you have a fever to suck it up if you have a fever that's life threatening you could die from a fever if you, you don't take the necessary precautions to get better, all right? What I'm trying to say is don't abuse the medical center. Use it if absolutely necessary, and you should be fine. You probably won't get reverted. So it's a quick video for Military Mondays. I said I was going to do them, these videos, every Monday. That concludes this video, guys. If you like this video, please give this video a like, comment on this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for more great content every week. Guys, I do have a PayPal money pool. Any amount of money that you want to donate will be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, live the lifestyle that you want to live. Peace.